Hello guys and welcome to a quick Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take an SVG file, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. Um, you can get thousands, millions of them for free online and then bring it into Blender and literally in less than 30 seconds you can turn it into a 3D model. I'm going to go through the process here. I hope you guys enjoy this. Share some of the results you get on the group Discord server, which you'll find in the description below. Um, that's free to join and um, yeah, let's jump right into it. I hope you guys learn something from this. I'll actually be showing you where you can get all of these resources. Okay, because so if you go into the description below, I'll have a link to this exact file over here. This is just kind of this venomous snake sort of head thing that I think looks really cool. Uh, you can come on the site, which is free and pick from thousands of different options. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And once you have the link open, you're gonna click on download SVG. Um, I've already done that and I've just placed that SVG file on my desktop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch Blender. In this case, I'm using 3.32. And what you're gonna do, it's super simple. You're gonna to go to File, and you're gonna to go to Import, and you're gonna go over to this option here called SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphics. Okay, so just click on that. And then go to wherever it is on your computer you have it, maybe in your downloads, your desktop, wherever. I'm just gonna click on that File, and here you can see, um, if I press um, Z and go to the wireframe, it's really small. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that SVG file and uh, you're gonna go S and scale it up. And you can see there's some writing that came in with it. You can just select all of that and just press X and delete it. We only want this um, snake that's imported. So a useful thing is if you press seven on your number pad to go into your top orthographic view, it's easier to work with this. And uh, let's just quickly scale it up even a bit more. And if you tab into edit mode, you're gonna actually see that this is made out of curves, right? It's not an actual mesh. We'll get to that in a second, okay? But what you can do now is, um, because you can see the origin point actually sits here. In edit mode, you can simply just press A to select all of this and then go G and move it more to the middle. Tab back into object mode. And let's just delete this cube here, get it out of the way. And also with the um, snake here or whatever object you imported, Go to your materials and just get rid of the material that's imported. You can add whatever material you want to that. But you can see here, we can see it a lot better now. Now there are a few things you can do here to turn this into a three dimensional object. So let's look at a few. So let's just um, start by going Shift D to duplicate and let's just move it over somewhere. Okay, so we have a version of this. So what you can do is you can go press F3 with that selected and you can type in convert. And you can see here convert to mesh. And if you now tab into edit mode, you have an actual mesh, howbeit a very messy one. And you can now go, you can give that a solidify modifier. Um, you can also do the same thing with the SVG one, that's, um, the one that's made out of the curves here. You can um, give that a solidify as well. Um, that's a little bit messy. So what we're gonna do, um, I'll get rid of this one that we just um, turned into a mesh, get rid of this solidify. With this one here, that's made out of the curves, if you go over to your curve settings, you're gonna see over here under the geometry, we've got some interesting things here. Number one, we've got the extrude here. So if you use that extrude, it does a much better job. So you can give this as much thickness as you want. So I'm gonna go with about something like that. It looks really cool. But at the moment, it looks really sharp. So what you can do is you can go down to the bevel option and then come here and then just increase the depth of that be um, bevel here. I'd make it something really so small, like 0.01. In this case, um, what we may have to do is go Control A or Command A and just apply that scale because we scaled it in object mode and uh, then just um, drag that value even smaller. So we might go for something really small here. So in this case, um, 0 0.001 is small enough. And this here determines the resolution of your bevel, right? So now at one, you can see it's looking very sharp for a bevel, but if you increase this, it's looking a lot more rounded out. So uh, if you ever get any kind of weird artifacts, um, you can actually go into here in edit mode anytime you want. And you can actually move some of this geometry around. In fact, you can see here with this nost these nostrils here, there's freestanding curves here. You can just select them and you can move them around. You can actually edit this geometry anytime you want. For example, here you can see we have some of them pinching a little bit. So I can sele select this handle here, move it out a little bit, scale it maybe, grab the little handles and adjust it just to make that look a little bit nicer there. Maybe grab this handle up here, scale that a little bit. You guys get the idea here. You can at any time 
edit the geometry by just coming in here and messing around with the curves, making things look nice. Um, so you can see over here, it's also a little bit messy, but the more you mess around with it, mess around with the size of this bevel, um, I might even make it smaller, 0.0009. Um, but yeah, that is how to turn SVG files, scalable vector graphics, into 3D models. And you can now go ahead, uh, throw a material in here, um, render it. Now obviously we're looking at this from the top of a graphic, so you can just select it and go R, X, 9, 0, press enter. So when you go into your front of a graphic, uh, it makes more sense. But yeah, that's been the tutorial on how to turn SVG files into 3D models. I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.